when the uh, task force came out and said, really, don't, you don't need your mammograms every year, I got a little bit laid back and thought, well, I'll get mine next summer. My daughter, who happened to be a medical student on the women's health module, called me every day and said, I'm going to haunt you and call you every day until, until you get your mammogram. So I went in and had it, and lo and behold, ultimately I was diagnosed with early breast cancer. Um, and I now consider that I have a cure. And little did she know that the first patient's life she probably saved was her mother's. When the government has a appointed task force that comes out with recommendations that physicians are supposed to use that are not the recommendations that we have had as our standard of care based on our specialty, specialty societies and peer-reviewed literature, this is unacceptable. Um, they are basically saying that women below the age of 50 uh, are not going to have a mammogram considered to be preventive care. This is an age when women can be diagnosed early. They have children at home. They are young. They are active. Their lives will be saved when they're caught early. They'll be, their diagnosis will be delayed. Then they're saying no mammograms after age 70. Virtually what they're saying here is we don't want to know if you've got breast cancer after 70. And so we'll see our mothers and our grandmothers showing up with late stage metastatic disease that could have been picked up earlier stage one and be treated. It's a very, it's a travesty. They do it to save money. They're doing it because they're looking at other factors. It's the beginning of rationing. They're not looking at what's best for each individual patient. It's a complete philosophical shift from the way that we have practiced medicine as, as doctors uh, practicing Hippocratic medicine to a more, a kind of medicine where the government is looking at what's best for the collective side, society as a whole as opposed to what's best for the individual patient. They're not telling us the whole story and they're changing the way that we practice care and they're going to take us from having the longest survival rates and the earliest diagnosis way down the tubes.